Uh, and it, I apologize, my microphone was just on there because I'm about to talk to Dr. David Samadhi. We're talking about new uh, technology in uh, prostate screenings. And you've created robotic surgery, basically. So we're over here chatting about exactly what you do with this, which is pretty incredible. This, this procedure could actually change the face of prostate uh, exams for the, rest of the, for, the, <laughs> for the rest of the time, I guess, right? Absolutely, and thank you for the invitation. When you talk about robotic surgery, you're basically talking about bringing the surgical skills of the surgeon as well as the precision of the technology. And when you bring it all together, that's when you have the actual magic that you're looking for. Not only you would be able to cure the men from their cancer, but also give them the quality of life that they're looking for, mainly the sexual function as well as the urinary control. This is amazing. So the procedure really only takes about an hour and a half if done by an expert like yourself. Well, the key point in the whole picture is really to have an experienced surgeon, someone who does this hundreds and perhaps thousands of times, who's having a, a qualified team in the operating room, and I always use the analogy of having a baseball team. Someone who uh, the team would set him up for the home run every time you take the patient to the room. Yeah. It, well, let's talk about a couple of big points here because we've heard recently these reports about these prostate exams not being effective. A lot of people saying, don't go get these exams. You're saying, that's completely wrong. You must go get these exams, right? Look, the take-home message is that the prostate cancer, also known as a silent killer, has absolutely no symptoms. So until we have a more sensitive biomarkers or other screening tests, I would encourage every man at the age of 50, or if you're African-American or have a strong family history, to be tested at the age of 45. The bottom line is you never rely on one test and just the PSA alone. You treat the patient as a whole. So I would encourage them to get tested. You want to know about the actual test itself, physical exam, family history, and as a doctor, you put it all together and give them a, the actual the correct judgment. And finally, I have to ask you about this prost prostate cancer vaccine. What, do you, what, what, what can you tell us about this? Well, you try first to cure the patients by this new technology of robotics, meaning that, you know, less blood loss, going home early, getting back to work. Right. And, and if it's a late-stage prostate cancer, meaning that it's already, like, gone outside the prostate, there are some studies about the new vaccines. This is a phase three trial. Um, we're still waiting to get bottom line to the survival benefit data. Okay. Um, but the judgment on that, it's still the right. jury's out, and we, we're not sure. But it right. looks promising. Dr. David Samadhi, incredible stuff, the chief of robotic surgery at Mount Sinai. We appreciate you joining us this morning. For more information, you go to foxnews.com, foxandfriends.com for more information about all of this. And Rick